This is Hydrogen Tap. I've got a number of email lately from people who either don't have enough money or who don't want to invest a lot of money in the project, the hydrogen projects, but still want to get their hands wet, so to speak. What I've done is put together a cell just for you. As you can see, this one is inside a glass. See how small it is. It's essentially two inches across, about two and a half inches across by six. It's got the nylon screw in the center. And you can see it's essentially the Aaron Cell N series with the special notches on the bottom so you can switch it over to make this a neutral plate. There are four plates. Stainless steel, stainless steel electrodes. But don't let the size fool you. I'm going to show you in a minute how it works. I call this the Pioneer. For those of you still laughing at me, the reason for that is hopefully this will get more people involved because the price is really low, very low, and enable them to get their hands in here. It's always been my feeling that it, there's always a person out there that just can't get involved, but if they were involved, the world would change. Hopefully I'll have something to do with that. So if you go to hydrogentap.com, you'll see this cell, and you'll see how easy it is to get it. I'm going to put this in a tube here and let you see it run. Okay, we're working off 11.80 uh, volts, and... There's distilled water there with lye in it. There's a number of people who have talked to me about putting vinegar in the water and say it works very well. I will be doing some tests to, to test that out. At this point in time, I'm using lye with distilled water. It's not too bad, huh? Right now it's drawing 5 amps. It'll work on less. I'll disconnect it here. It all depends how much hydrogen you want. And the way you do that is a combination of mixing the electrolyte, which in this case is the lye, and a combination of that and the amount of cells you have. You can see this cell works very well. turn on again for you. We'll look at a different perspective here. Okay. It's not too shabby, you know. This is the system. Okay. So this is the Air and Cell Freedom. Uh, 
I beg your pardon. This is the Aaron Cell Pioneer. Great. Anyway, call it the Pioneer for those people to get involved so we can get further down the line. And you can see the size. There's the glass behind it. Again, this is about two and a half inches wide, six inches long. Comes as you see it. Four plates, stainless steel, nylon bolts going through it. And these two electrodes on the top. I will be including the wire with it. If you have any questions you can send me some email at johnarons at hydrogentap.com that's johnarons at hydrogentap.com or you can just go to hydrogentap.com and you'll see some stills of this. As you could see, it puts out quite a considerable amount of hydrogen. These are for tests only. And make sure that when you use these, you have plenty of fresh air around you. I'm getting a number of email now from people who are really energetic about this project. I think this cell will probably bring you into the project very nicely. One thing is I found out that you don't... I tried using it in this glass and the problem is that it definitely will work in the glass but the hydrogen bubbles comes up from the center. So since the glass, at least my glass, is lower, that the hydrogen does you cannot see it coming out, even though it is coming out. So I would advise you to get a taller glass. The other thing is that I'm using the lye and distilled water, as I said, there's a number of people now who are saying they're using the vinegar and they're claiming it works very well. Since this is stainless steel, it's probably going to be pretty hard to hurt the steel. I've done a number of experiments with it and I haven't had much problem with it if you use anything with it. But again, this is all open for tests. So if you do buy this, make sure that that you realize that we're in uncharted territory. As far as we're concerned, there's a lot of people that claim to know about it. From the emails I'm getting, I can see that the people that are at least writing me seem to have more knowledge than the, quote, experts that are out there. So recapping this thing, I think with this cell out here you're going to be able to do a lot. If you're really interested in getting involved, this would be the cell that you want. It's called the Pioneer. And again it's two inches, about two and a half inches by six. And there are four plates. You might want to get involved. You can go to hydrogentaptap.com and you can see it. And I thank all of you who have been sending me the email. I try to answer all the email that I get. I try to answer all the comments on the comments file on YouTube. 